What is up my nerds of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty 2020. Now everyone knows that many COD YouTubers got sent packages from Treyarch that had a projector and 10 different slides and you had to take these slides and solve basically the easter egg or the mystery which also involved going on to Black Ops 4 and playing on the map summit on black ops 4 which treyarch actually did a silent or like a hot update for to be able to use these slides with the new things in summit which people actually did so just before i start this video guys i just want to say that by the time you see this i am probably live on my twitch channel i am playing probably warzone hopefully if i'm not live then just hit my uh twitch channel and hit the follow button and you can hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live i'm going for affiliate and i'm so close i have the streaming hours i have the followers i just need the people i'm on like 278 now and it was 264 or something like that and i'm so so close to getting it and hopefully i do now let's get straight into the video guys so the first step starts with a manifest with some parts of it redacted now on the right hand side of this you have 15 different slides that you could have so the first few slides actually have a mini map type of look to them after this was like kind of a radar with letters or something like that i want to say and after this then was a circular radar kind of thing and then finally we had a world map so looking at the minimap slides, they actually show us the minimap of Summit in Black Ops 4. Now if we actually boot up Black Ops 4, we see two more slides that finishes the minimap and the second one is actually a fifth world map and it's actually a map of Tokyo. Now if we go into a private match on Black Ops 4, you will see that Treyarch have changed some things in Summit. The first one being the kind of like the control panel thing that I feel it's used kind of for incoming aircraft or deciphering codes or something like that. And this has actually been put into the game and then moving over to the clocks. There are actually five clocks and these actually have labels on them. The first one is Paris, then Moscow, Tokyo, New York and then London. Now these five clocks and these are actually five different puzzle maps. Now, if we actually go around some itself, we will see these numbers that are on the real world maps. And here are basically just some of them now. Now looking at number two, it's actually surrounded with different colors, yellow and green. Number four actually has yellow on it. Number three is red. Number one is actually blue. With these numbers, we can see these go with the world maps. So starting with number four, this is actually Moscow. Number three is New York. Number two is Paris. Number one is London. And we also have Tokyo that we saw in Summit. Now, people have actually cracked a code with the clocks and the letters in these slides. And it actually spells out, Bish, you were here which was actually a chess game in 1972 played between Boris Spassky and Robert James Fisher. Now, people were coming up with all sorts of kind of chess moves to do. Some people were even going on blackout and uh, saying, well, blackout and the chess boards are kind of the same and going around to each of the uh, moves and trying them and everything like that. But I don't really know if that turned out anything really and truly. I don't think it did. Now there is actually a movie made about this chess game in 2014 and the runtime is 1 hour and 15 minutes which is a common number in the Black Ops series of course in Black Ops Zombies because of element 115 now after this people solve the world the word puzzle then and so what we actually had to do was take the slide the YouTubers got then take the Instagram post Treyarch took and the basically kind of like the game's patterns you take from Summit and once this is done you have to overlay them and it actually shows turn 11 white now doing all this gives you a website named 
pawntakespawn.com forward slash TV. Now, just before I go any further, I just want to say Noah J actually solved all of this first. Now, Noah J was also contacted by Treyarch saying that this was the first clue and part two is coming soon. Now, on the site, it actually says on the bottom right, 12 o'clock doesn't know we don't know if that's am or pm and a date saying 8 14 so in two days time there is going to be another clue or a little teaser trailer which will be given us now this is the 14th of the 8th which is in two days which is a friday so in the back of this image the back left of the site you can actually see if you go into the inspect tools uh, thing and take out the TV and everything like that you can actually see an Activision game that's kind of been painted or created from like a child and it's actually named chopper command and this was actually created in 1982 and this game was used on the Atari video computer system and moving on to the right hand side shows a map of Verdansk from Modern Warfare's Warzone. Now lots of people have said this is a Warzone map, however now it's coming out that it actually may not be the same map. Now others have said this also and this could be telling us that Verdansk will still be a map in Warzone and instead of a whole new map we could just be getting like a map basically over of Verdansk so we could be getting a Cold War kind of thing of Verdansk because we have the bunkers we have the nukes and everything like that and it's kind of already old school kind of thing now with this only being the first part of the reveal of Call of Duty 2020 I feel that we all know it's going to be basically set in the Cold War area which we already knew weeks and months beforehand and that it will probably be called call of duty black ops cold war and will more than likely be a soft reboot just like modern warfare was and if this is the case then i hope that it will be good because modern warfare was very lackluster and warzone quite frankly saved the game now i like the story arc of warzone i like the story of the campaign of modern warfare that was very good as well and you know it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting